Banky W has signed white money to his record label, EME. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. We know that's where whiskey started from, and we see where whiskey is right now. And regarding this, someone dropped a message that the Banky W signed white money as a musician or a chef. <laughs> he really reached to ask. What's up, guys? Yeah, welcome to this wonderful channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're listening to or watching this wonderful channel from. Yeah, welcome to John Grace Entertainment. They will give you hot juice of all the trends, all the happenings in Nigeria, Africa, and globally. For the new out there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so as to stay updated whenever I upload hot new trending content. So much has been going on in the music industry. There have been this jack recently uh, on Twitter. What was trending on Twitter, number one on Twitter was Bad To Me, a song by Whiskey, and I'm a piano song by uh, Whiskey. I mean, it caused lots of controversies and stares. You know, netizens were just dropping in comments and messages. Some people were supporting Whiskey. Some persons were saying, no, that Whiskey is not the man for this job. How did you rate that song? For those that have listened to it, Bad To Me by Whiskey. Personally, I heard the song. Whiskey is a wonderful musician, that, but to me, whiskey didn't deliver his best. Whiskey is more of a um, RMB pop slash. musician, but I'm a piano because you need energy when delivering. I'm a piano. I didn't really feel whiskey flows. And another thing that was trending too on Twitter was whiskey FC. These guys are all, always trending. And then number three, we have I'm a piano. So many persons were dropping in comments telling us they brought Ama Piano into the Nigerian music industry. Talk, talking about Ama Piano, we have this message from the desk of Mr. Midi. According to Midi, he said, Let me bring Ama Piano come to Niger and I have a word to prove that we started the Niger South Africa collaboration. I don't like saying shit like this, but you all like putting me under the box. Well, Midi has claimed that I was the one that brought Ama Piano to. In Nigeria, some people are saying Bonaboy Boy brought it, some people are saying David. By the way, who do you think brought Ama Piano to this country? We're still talking about the Ama Piano drama or saga that happened last week. David Capes DJ Mafu Risa for giving credits to Whiskey and Bonaboy Boy over Ama Piano's success in Africa. Drama between David Whiskey and Bonaboy. I've always been seeing Brett brought an piano to Nigeria because some David's fans were saying, yeah, other people brought an a piano, but David made it blue to, to what it is right now that David put in his best. You know, David has this energy, he has this vibe whenever he's um, uh, giving songs. You know how to, I, I mean, David is a wonderful artist. Whenever you, you know, feature him, he delivers his best, he gives you the energy, he has the vibe, he has the energy. We remember the uh, Ama Piano song he did recently with some uh, with some South African stars. Yeah, uh, those songs did very well. Dudu is a wonderful, is a superb musician. Well, we are still talking about songs. Recently, when Whiskey dropped this song, but to me it went up up to number one. We know we have so many Whiskey FCs out there. The song Blue it went up to number one on top songs. But Asake is still trendy. Asake song was on number two. Number three, number four, number five, on, on, on top to number ten, Asake, Asake everywhere. But a few days after Whiskey dropped this song, but to me, Asake actually pushed Whiskey out of the chat. Recently, someone dropped a message that if Asake and Whiskey should drop an album the same day, that Asake's album will blow more than Whiskey's album. What do you have to say regarding that? Because Asake is trending right now. Asake is the man. Yeah, he's a man of the game. Anything Asake touches stones ago. Recently, he dropped his album, and that album has been making numbers. Well, because to let's also move on to another part of entertainment. Let's talk about movies. Let's move on to outside the shores of Africa. Leonardo DiCaprio could join the hit Netflix show Squid Game in the third season. Have you seen that movie Squid Game? Where we have this good news that Leonardo DiCaprio. Could join Squid Game in the third season, according to his director. Squid Game, the hit Netflix show that took the world by storm back in 2021, is potentially said to have not just one, but two more seasons. While fans seem to be torn on whether the story of Squid Game should continue, there is potential casting choice that could get people interested. Well, do you really want Leonardo DiCaprio to stay in this movie? Squid Game. I enjoyed the game actually. I've seen the game. 
What about you? Please don't forget to drop a comment on the comment section. Well, let us come back up to Nigeria. Probably need to finish for this country. We have this news that court orders ASU to call off its over seven month old strike. The National Industrial Court has ordered the Academy Staff Union of Universities ASU to call off the ongoing nationwide strike. This strike has lasted. Recently, we heard of uh, the people, students protesting in some parts of Lagos and also some parts of Abuja. What is really happening? To this to Nigeria. Sometimes the, the only thing that is giving us vibes in this country is um, entertainment. The Nollywood uh, movie industry doing very well, and the music industry they are doing very well. I mean, they'll be dropping his song back to power. Musicians have been taking us to places, polishing Nigeria's image on the world map. But when it comes to the government, the politics, we have I mean problem here and the problem in the finish when it comes to politics in this country. Well. ASU has been on strike for seven months. This is like the longest strike ever in the history of uh, uh, Nigeria since the inception of democracy. Seven months and counting. But one thing, our politicians, their children are not here, their families are not here, so then their wives are overseas. What is really happening? Man, Nigeria problem, Nigeria problem is plenty, is plenty. Well, see, talking about the ASU strike, recently we saw this picture of Aisha Bwari, the wife of Mr. President, the first lady of the country in the UK, celebrating with her daughter-in-law who just graduated from the UK. She didn't graduate from any university in Nigeria. With all the universities we have, and they'll be collecting loans, pumping in money, and they keep going outside the country for medical treatment, medical checkups, and their children are schooling outside. That is why they don't care. Yeah, that is why they are not adamant about the ongoing and lingering ASU strike. Someone dropped this message, you know, Nigeria actually lambasted Asha Bwari for posting photos of daughter-in-law's graduation. Someone said Asha Bwari is one of the biggest hypocrites we have. We had the mind to, she had the mind rather to post her daughter graduating from a foreign university despite Asu meeting still deadlocked. The Bwari family have to be the most insensitive and shameless people ever. Wow, Nigerians are not happy. Nigerians are really not happy. Other person said, unfortunately, Aisha Bwari is has a very strong heart for celebrating her daughter's graduation publicly amid ASU strike. While the poor children sit at home without studying for seven months, and neither her nor her husband has shown his anger. Nigerian students are disappointed in you. Well, people are not happy at all. People are not happy. Other person said, Aisha uh, Bwari knows that university students in Nigeria have been at home for seven months plus now. She could have avoided posting this picture, but she went ahead. This is an open mockery to millions of youths whose future has been estranged. Elections are upon us. Vote wisely. Thank you for your desk, desk of Dr. Penkin. Yeah, elections are upon us, so we should vote wisely. We really need to vote wisely this time because. Mm, it's not been easy. I mean, it's not been easy for people to stay on for seven months. Almost two semesters gone. They are still at home. Why our politicians are sending their children overseas and they've been visiting their children, traveling out of the country to celebrate their graduation. And after graduating from Nigeria, you are working here and maybe you have a job overseas, our politicians will, will discourage you from traveling out of the country. Did they really have our interest? Talking about the 2023 election, so much has been going around the PDP camp between Wike and the presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar. Yesterday, we got this news that names that it was a breaking news actually that names of governors, chieftains that pulled out of Atiku's camp. Wow. Some people pulled out of uh, Atiku's camp. According to the news, it says several top ranking members of the People's Democratic Party PDP have pulled out of the presidential campaign. Of Atiku Abubakar, the 2023 presidential candidate of the party. This development is coming after several efforts to resolve the ongoing rifts between the governor of River State, Nice Mwike, and Atiku Phil. It can be recalled that both leaders have been at loggerhead over a violation of the party's zoning arrangement between the North and the South. Yeah, it's been trending. Wike and his camp have remained adamant on the removal of the party's national chairman, Mr. Ayu. The Rivers 
politician maintains that the party chairman and his presidential candidate can't come from the same region. Hmm. However, on Wednesday morning, we can his faction pulled out from Atiku's campaign, stating that they will not be part of any activity until IU was removed. They insisted that the position must come to the South for balance, justice, and equity in the party. Hence, they will not play any role in Atiku Abubakar's campaign council. They also resolved that an acting chairman from the South should lead the party on the national campaign going into the elections. They made their position known in a resolution read by former deputy national chairman of the party, Chief Bode George, after a long meeting held at Governor Wiki's private residence near Port Harcourt on Wednesday. Below are the names of the governors and ranking chieftains that pulled out of the campaign with Wiki. We have River State Governor, nice and Wiki, as number one on the list. We have Oyo State Governor, C. Makinde. We have Benue State Governor, Samuel Otom. Abia State Governor, Okezi Ipazu. We have Enugu State Governor, Ifayin Ugwain. We have Ex Plateau State Governor, Jonah Jan. We have Ex Gombe State Governor, Ibrahim Dankwabo. We have former Ekiti State Governor, Ayo Fayose. We have former Ondo State Governor, Olu Segun. Mimiko. We have former Cross River State Governor Donald Duke, Chief Bode, George, Chief Da Ohi, and Mohammed Adoke. So these are the people that are put out of the Article campaign organization. With all the recent happenings, do you think Article will win the next election? Do you think become the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Don't forget to drop a comment on the comment section below. So much has been going in this country. Politicians are not really putting vibes on our places. This asshole strike of a team have been causing so much stress. People are not happy. How can your child be at home after you pay school fees? Some of them have paid house rent. Their house are, 